Hey, good morning. And that councilman Orlando Goods walked in about 15 minutes before this workshop started at nine o'clock. We asked him right before he got into that elevator to go upstairs to the meeting room whether or not he had anything to say about the anti-Semitic remark that he made to the Tampa Bay Times reporter just a day ago uh, regarding construction costs and the fact that he thought the city was being charged too much for them. He told me that he did not have any to, anything to say in the moment and that he would be making a statement inside of that meeting and that's exactly what he did at the top of the hour. Um, I, I know our producers are working on getting that sound for our viewers right now but until then I'm just going to paraphrase what he said in that meeting. He said that he is aware of the dangers of discrimination. It looks like we have that sound bite right now. I'm going to have uh, our producers in the control room toss to it. As an African American man who has faced great amounts of discrimination in my personal career, I'm acutely aware of the dangers of discrimination. Those who know me best know that I do not hold any hostility or prejudice against anyone. I apologize for this distraction. My plan for the city of Tampa is to build a more unified city. He went on to say that he loves the city of Tampa regard and he loves the people of Tampa regardless of where they live, who they love, and who or what they worship. So you heard straight from him this morning, uh, right after 9 o'clock, Councilman Goods um, issuing an apology, saying I'm sorry to the people of Tampa and anyone he may have offended with that statement that he made uh, just yesterday to the Tampa Bay Times reporter. Russell? All right, Jim. Talking a lot. Thank you.